Good evening, I am Mr. Ish. In this video, we look at an integral proof, a calculus proof, which is long overdue. It's to do with the coefficient of your integral. If you think back to all the videos or even to your own study, how many times have you noticed this specific fact? For instance, you are doing an integration of 2dx or let's just say 2x dx. In how many instances have we taken the coefficient out such that we made it look like this? Each of these instances became something like this and then we went on to integrate it. The whole concept of this pushing the coefficient outside the integral and likewise even with derivatives we always push the coefficients out. Anyhow we're focusing here on integrals. This whole idea of pushing the coefficient outside your integral and still ending up with the same answer because this right over here and this will lead you to the same answer in terms of integration this will lead you to the same answer as this just because you've pushed the coefficient out it has no bearing on the end result the proof in this which is long overdue is why is the case that pushing that coefficient out has no effect on your end product and that's what we need to look at in this video if we are to depict this problem of ours or this question of ours for the proof we can do so in this way we're saying that a coefficient applied to a function and its integral is the same thing as that same coefficient pushed outside your integral and you're doing that procedure. We're saying that the left and the right hand procedure lead to the same end result and let's show you that. We'll focus here on this part and we'll marry it at the end or we'll prove it to that. If you are doing this procedure here, you're seeing two functions, one of which is a constant, one of which is a function, all right? They're both functions, but they're two different functions. Integrate by parts. If u is equal to c, du is equal to, what's the derivative of a constant? It's always zero, and then let's put that dx. v is the integral of what remains, which is your function f of x dx, and you know, if you want to depict this in terms of terminology, the antiderivative of that, well, you can write it as that. Now we put everything in this, integrating by parts formula uv minus integral v du we have everything we need u is equal to c v is equal to this f of x which is your antiderivative minus v again is this antiderivative times du which is 0 dx this 0 dx zeros out everything you end up getting c the constant times that and that ends up being your end result for this procedure when you're looking at the constant within and part of your integrand. When you look at this procedure right here, the constant is already out. Anytime you're doing a integral of something which is f of x dx, anything which appears like this in terms of an integrand comes out as a capital F of x. You can symbolize that as your antiderivative and you end up seeing c f of x, c, c, capital F of x. We end up having both of the same outcomes show up whether the constant was within and part of your integrand or whether the constant was pushed outside and outside of your integrand. And the end result is the same and this is how you can prove that effect of the coefficient on the integral. The effect of the coefficient is non-existent. It will always behave as if it were part of the integrand or whether it was outside the integrand and not part of it. But the outcome in both instances is always the same. And with that, we end this video and the proof, this integral proof it has been completed. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.